In this video, we're going to be having a look at creating hardware using Verilog and structural data flow statements. So to begin with, structural data flow or structural statements are basically used for creating gates and other primitives using words like and or or symbols such as the ampersand or the vertical line. So, best illustrated with an example. In this case, we, what we're going to do is I want to be able to implement this circuit here, which is simply, in fact, we'll, we'll do it as two steps like this. A, B, and C. Right, so all it is is an AND gate with a NOT gate, so effectively an AND, but we're going to do it as two separate steps. So using structural statements, we can actually do this using ANDs and NOTs inside Verilog. So for example, if I define A, B, C, and we're going to have an extra one D, which is going to represent this guy here, noting that A and B would normally come in to our module, which we talk about in the next couple of videos, as inputs and C would be an output that's declared normally, but for now we'll just assume they're all declared locally. What we'd do to be able to implement the above uh, logic operation would be to then use some of these structural words like AND, give the gate a name, so we're going to call this one A1, the output and then the two inputs output inputs and then we're going to use the not statement so that becomes n1 and c goes to d there oh, d is inverted knotted to become c right so that's one method of structural data flow in Verilog. Obviously it's, I think, rather cumbersome having to actually manually put down all the gates in this way. Um, and while uh, functional, and we haven't had to use any assigned statements, it's all done, they're basically continuous assignment statements. Uh, I prefer to use the assigned statement. Okay, and we would do something like assign C is equal to not A and B. So these two lines up here are equivalent to this single assigned statement down here. Both are known as structural data flow. Okay, and that is an ampersand. Same as that bit up there. Right, so I can use the operators as part of an assigned statement, or I can actually designate which gates I want to be able to build it. Both work, um, however my preference is for the assigned statement, especially as it starts to get more complicated. And, you know, we could have used a, a simple NAND in here, but this works quite well as well. Right, so structural statements, uh, primitives, okay, words, um, keywords for creating gates and other primitives using either terms like and and not and nor and so forth, or using the assigned statement and then using the appropriate symbols uh, in their places.